Okay, so this is a quick one. But the last one is simply laser isotope separation. Um, this has been developed in recent years, and it has the potential to revolutionize uranium enrichment. So how does it work? Well, what we have is we have a powerful laser, which is going to ionize just selectively the U-235. How does it do that? Well, U-235 and U-338, well, they will ionize when a different frequency light hits them. Um, and so if I have a light that's at the proper frequency with enough energy, it will actually cause just U-235 to ionize. This is a very similar thing that's done for laser-induced fluorescence, where I have some sort of cedar gas. So I might have, you know, a wind tunnel, and I'll shoot a laser through it, which will not usually ionize, but in this case, cause the gas to fluoresce because one of the gases in there, maybe nitrogen or maybe nitric oxide, will be excited by that particular wavelength. And so then from that light, I will get profiles. And from that profile, I can figure out things like temperature, density, um, going through my wind tunnel. Now, we don't really care about temperature or density here. What we care about is just collecting those U-235. Because once they've been ionized by that laser light, there is a collector here which uses electric charge to pull them in. Or sorry, um, electric potential to pull them in. And then they condense on this plate and can be collected. Now, why this is amazing is that in our previous ones, you know, we would have a lot of you to make it through one stage. In this case, for 100,000 atoms, only one would be U-238. So 99,999 of those would be U-235. And so with a single stage, I could go from natural uranium up to 3%, just one stage. Now, this is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But it does come with some concerns because people are worried. They're worried that if we have this powerful technology, which can so quickly enrich uranium, that it will make it much easier to make weapons grade uranium, which is true, which is why this um, technology is currently classified. But the idea is if we start bringing it online commercially. Well, then somebody's going to eventually be using it and maybe there'll be a bad actor and they'll use it for the wrong reasons. So even though this is such a good technology, we're, there's still a lot of controversy around it just because we're not certain, you know, who will be using this and what they're going to be using it for. But that's outside the realm of this course, at least for this chapter. So that's it. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you all next time as we continue forward in learning how nuclear power plants actually produce the electricity that we need. Have a great day. Bye-bye.